why the new 2026 Hyundai Palisade hybrid feels like an EV and beats the V6. Hey EV fans, welcome back to EVpedia, where horsepower meets high voltage and hybrids finally get their moment in the spotlight. I have a question for you to kick things off. Do you know how Hyundai's new hybrid system makes the 2026 Palisade drive more like a pure electric vehicle? If you think you know, drop your answer in the comments right now. We'll reveal the answer at the end, so stay tuned. And hey, if you're watching this and haven't joined the EVpedia family yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribing is free easy, and it helps this community grow faster than EV Torque off the line. Smash that like button if you're excited about the future of hybrids, and let's aim high. 1,000 likes and 100 comments in 24 hours. Think we can hit it? I know we can because you guys are amazing, and every click helps more people discover the electric revolution we're all part of. All right, let's dive into what makes the brand new 2026 Hyundai Palisade Hybrid one of the most exciting gas electric vehicles in the game right now. Spoiler alert, it doesn't just feel like a hybrid, it drives like an EV. At the heart of the buzz is Hyundai's TME D2 hybrid system. It's the second generation of their fully in-house developed transmission-mounted electric drive, and it's making its U.S. debut in the new Palisade. This system is more than just an upgrade, it's a statement. While most people still associate hybrids with the slow, steady Prius, Hyundai's sending a message. Hybrids can be bold, powerful, and fun. So what's new? A lot. Compared to the first-gen TMED system, TMED2 is stronger, smarter, and far more efficient. It even allows drivers to manually control the hybrid battery's charge state, something you couldn't do before. That's a big deal, especially if you want to squeeze out every ounce of performance or save battery for idle time. Let's talk power. The 2026 Palisade Hybrid swaps out the typical 1.6-liter engine for models like the Santa Fe and goes big with a 2.4-liter turbocharged inline-4 paired with a 1.65-kilowatt-hour battery and two electric motors. One motor, a modest 17-horsepower unit, handles startup and cabin systems. The other, a punchy 72-horsepower motor, helps drive the wheels and enables regenerative braking. Both are neatly tucked inside the transmission case, adding smarts without bulk. Here's where it gets spicy. The total combined output of this hybrid setup? A whopping 329 horsepower and up to 339 lbft of torque. That's not just better than the standard V6 Palisade. It's enough to make your morning commute feel like a mini road trip adventure. And if you're wondering about fuel economy? 34 miles per gallon with an estimated driving range of 619 miles on a full tank. That's road trip ready without the stress of finding a charger every few hours. Now, one of the coolest new features, and something that really makes this feel EV-inspired, is the brand new Stay Mode. This function lets you run things like air conditioning, your infotainment system, even charge your devices, all without turning on the gas engine. Planning to relax at a trailhead, or let the kids stream YouTube while waiting at soccer practice. Just activate Stay Mode a few miles before you park, and the system charges the battery up to 70-80% to using the engine and regenerative braking. Once parked, you can power the cabin for up to two hours, all on stored electricity. No fumes, no engine noise, just comfort. As a parent or camper, imagine the possibilities. Hot summer days? Chilly nights? You're covered. This is the kind of smart hybrid tech we've been waiting for. But Hyundai's not stopping there. In the near future, TME D2 hybrids are expected to gain vehicle-to-load V2L capability, meaning you'll be able to plug in external appliances just like you can in many full EVs. Coffee maker at a campsite? Power tools at a job site? This hybrid's got your back. So here's what I think from Evpedia's point of view. Hyundai is blurring the line between hybrids and EVs, and I'm here for it. The TME D2 system represents a major step forward, not just for Hyundai, but for the entire hybrid market. We're not talking about transitional tech anymore, we're talking about a smart, capable, clean-driving solution that finally feels modern and exciting. But I want to hear from you. Do you think hybrids like this are the future, or are you holding out for a full EV garage? Are features like Stay Mode and V2 LA Game Changer for your lifestyle? Let me know in the comments. And hey, if you're enjoying this deep dive, share it with a friend who's been on the fence about going hybrid. Before we wrap things up, let's go back to the question from the beginning. The secret behind the Palisade Hybrid's EV-like behavior is its brand new TME D2 system, which includes dual electric motors and lets you actively charge the battery ahead of time for all electric idle use. Did you get right? If so, give yourself a pat on the back 
and maybe hit that like button while you're at it. Thank you so much for riding with me to the very end. Seriously, you are what powers this channel, and I'm beyond grateful. If you haven't already, now's the perfect time to subscribe, like, and drop comment. Let's crush that 1,000 like and 100 comment challenge and keep growing this amazing EVpedia community. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious, and most importantly, stay charged.